In this video, we are given an order and we need to find the flow rate. Now, we are told that we need to do 30 milliliters per hour and that we are using a, an IV tubing that is 15 drops per milliliter. That's how much it'll allow through it. We need to know what is the flow rate. Now, even though they don't tell us here what the flow rate unit is, the standard unit is gonna be drops per minute. So this is what we're aiming to get our answer into. So as usual, we start with what we are told the medicine needs to be given at. So we are told that it needs to be 30 milliliters over one hour, okay? Now, we are also told that 15 drops per milliliter is the way that our, our tubing is set up. So we know 15 drops is equal to one milliliter. So let's say that I wanna get rid of the milliliters and turn it into drops first. Well, that's not too hard to do. I need milliliters to be on the bottom of my fraction that I'm using to convert with so that it can cancel with the milliliter that's on the top. So I put one milliliter on the bottom from this. I know that that's equal to 15 drops. So I put 15 drops on the top. That makes it possible to cancel the milliliters. And now my units are drops per hour because that's what's left after I've canceled the milliliters. Remember, I'm looking to get drops per minute as my final unit. So I still need to change my hours into minutes. Now I know one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So that's my conversion rate. So I'm gonna multiply by the fraction. And here, because the hours are currently on the bottom of the fraction, that means I need to put hours on the top of my conversion fraction so that they can cancel. One hour goes on top and 60 minutes goes on the bottom. That makes it so that these two hours can cancel with one another. And my remaining unit is gonna be drops on the top per minute on the bottom, which again is the standard unit for the flow rate. So we know we've done the correct conversions. Now we just need to figure out what does this equal when we're done? So we multiply across the top, 30 times 15 times one is 450. On the bottom, I have one times one times 60. And remember that this is going to be now drops per minute. And we want to go ahead and do this division. Now, 450 divided by 60 comes out to be 7.5 drops per minute. And when we round to the nearest whole number, that's the ones place, um, we'll either have a seven or an eight. So we look at the digit after it, okay? So the first decimal place is a five. And because it's a five, we need to round up. So this is eight drops per minute. 